Well, witches, superheroes, and trolls filled the hallways of Beverly Knight Olson Children's Hospital today. Volunteers, hospital staff, patients, all celebrating Halloween with the annual Trick or Treat Parade. 41 NBC's Emanuela Rendini has more. That's right, January. More than 50 children went around the hospital with their pillowcases, getting candy from every department they passed. I spoke with two moms who told me that this parade is exactly what their children needed. It is one of the best experiences that we've had. Marcy Holland's son suffers from autoimmune neutropenia. It's a disease that attacks the bone marrow, making it hard to fight off illnesses like the common cold. Holland says her son has been battling with the disease since he was six months old. But he has gotten better with help from doctors and Navison. Yeah, he was real pale, real thin. He looks healthy now. So <laughs> we're thankful for that. Holland says her son had a lot of fun at the trick or treat parade. Well, he's told the nurses that it's the best Halloween ever. <laughs> Melissa Ramey's daughter Autumn is also in the hospital because of a bacterial infection. Ramey says her daughter really enjoyed the parade. This was just a great event for the kids. It was phenomenal for us to be involved in it, and we just we greatly appreciate the the effort that was put into making the hospital look such so amazing for them to enjoy. Holland says she appreciates everyone who helped put this parade together for the children and their families. The hospital and you know, the staff, the nurses, the child life specialists, each and every one of us that make us feel like family. So with smiles, costumes, and lots of candy, the children at the hospital have a Halloween to remember. <laughs> The construction workers who are building the new children's hospital even joined in on the fun. Children were able to look out the window and see the workers waving signs, wishing them a happy Halloween. Okay. All right, thank you so much, Manny.